Hi there, my name is Anna. Welcome back to my art channel. So in today's video I'm doing a little botanical painting and I'm using acrylic brush for this. So you can see me here mixing the background color. Um, I wanted a kind of a matte pink, not too vibrant. So I mixed in some blue and some more of the yellow to get this color. And I had to remix it a couple of times for when I had problems getting the color exactly right. And I seem to not mix enough to color the entire background. So now I'm using a little brush to block out the background with this nice pink color. This is actually the birthday card that I gave my mother today. And she seemed to like it, <laughs> so that was good. By the way, if you enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. That would really help me out. And uh, yeah, if you like, you could subscribe to my channel. For some reason, acrylic paintings are not acrylic. I mean, gouache paintings always take me longer than anticipated. I thought this was just going to be a quick little card and it is simple enough but just with all the little corners I had to fill out, the background alone took, took me long enough. But it was not hard so if you want to attempt it yourself, it is not a hard painting, it just takes some time to get the paint on all the surfaces with it where it belongs. background again. Mustn't have been entirely happy with the color there. Now I'm using a bit more of a darker pink to block in the little rug that's lying beside the plant on its little stand. So I'm using less white. Now I'm painting in the little table, which has, has a blue coat that is slightly chipped. So I made sure to not have the color entirely consistent to make it look a bit old and faded. I used my blue, added in a little bit of yellow and some red again. It's just basically always the same colors in different concentrations to kind of dull the colors down in the way that you like. And I also used some black because for the shadows I needed, needed that extra help. And this is meant to be a bit of a, a brown that's just showing through between the cracks. painting the pot of the plant again mixing kind of beige brown color I find it very beneficial to work with such a limited color palette it really helps me practicing to mix my colors some dark areas and some highlights on the pot, I'm trying to keep it fairly simple. Possibly this painting would have been finished quicker had I had a less limited color palette and had to spend less time mixing, that is possible. So here's a darker brown are the stems of this plant. Actually, actually I think it's called an arrow leaf. I'll look that up again. I'll have it right in the title I think. <laughs> and 
some areas the stems are a bit more green than brown some they're a little bit more reddish adding a little white into the paint for some lighter areas of the stem a gouache painting or acrylic painting is you don't have to do as much planning as with watercolour at least um, if you want to have the desired effect because you don't have to reserve the white of the paper and you can always add another layer and um, go lighter darker lighter whatever direction you want to go quicker though. With watercolour the paint flows and does a lot of the work for you. I'm trying to actually, in this case I'm trying to keep these parts of the plant white, um, which are meant to be lighter, where the vein of the plant goes along because despite the, these paints being opaque, they're not perfectly opaque, they do. They are a little translucent and it would have been, been harder had I just painted them in entirely in the dark green. Also, I would have no longer known where my lines were. That was probably more so the reason. I really think this is a beautiful type of plant. My sister actually owns one of these. Although I have not yet seen it in person. of this painting. At least it looks simple, even if it didn't. It even took me a bit longer. did a painting every day or at least I did a painting for every day I painted a painting for every day um, some I did on one day and yeah you know anyway it was Inktober so now I'm off to painting less <laughs> I thought I could keep it up but I haven't also I'm finding it hard to find reference photos I have to get myself a collection again so I don't have to spend ages thinking about what I want to paint Here I'm painting in the, the veins of the leaf, which are a much lighter green. Kind of stand out against the stark, dark green of the rest of the leaf. now so I hope you enjoyed this painting video maybe you'll try something similar and uh, I hope to see you again soon in one of my next videos take care and keep painting bye bye